Um, you are most welcome, whether you are joining us purely online or whether you are online with us for part of the time and going to be on campus at some point either tomorrow or Wednesday. We very much hope that this hybrid event uh, will be the start of maybe a new way of us doing these things with people being able to be on campus when it's helpful and appropriate for them to be with us in person and to beam in at other times. Um, so the focus of the conference, as you know, is if you could change one thing about family law, what would it be? And that's in response to the Law Commission's 14th programme of law reform. And of course, we're delighted to be working with the Law Commission um, as uh, on this conference and anything that flows on from it. Um, the conference will showcase important ideas about family law reform from across the academic community, from legal practice, from policy makers. Um, and it's been organized with that in mind, with the broadest spectrum of expertise and involvement um, as is possible. So today um, we're going to be hearing a series of proposals for reform on in 15 minute intervals. Um, I'm sure that will be a really thought provoking opportunity to reflect on family law now um, and also how it could be reformed to promote positive change. Um, tomorrow on Wednesday, we're going to be scrutinizing some of these key proposals in roundtable format. Um, and we're very grateful to those of you who are presenting reform proposals, for those of you who have been reflecting on those proposals and will provide some provocations and some feedback, um, some sort of critical friend uh, um, stimulation to get discussions going. We're grateful to those of you who will participate in the discussions. Um, and then those of you who will contribute perhaps on the margins um, via the chat, um, via follow-up emails and discussions and subsequently. Um, I think it's a really interesting format that should allow some of these ideas to be worked through to their logical conclusions. Um, I think it's very timely that we consider these things. And the reason that um, I think it's very timely is because increasingly, we know this has been a trend that has been happening for a prolonged period of time. Governments have walked away from thinking about family law as the glue which keeps us all together as a society. Um, increasingly, there has been um, a, a shift to back, maybe back towards private ordering, um, a shift to saying this isn't for state intervention unless it looks like those who are vulnerable are at risk um, and at risk in very particular ways, whether that's children at risk in particular ways or vulnerable adults at risk in particular ways. Um, government has tended to say we will keep out, but in doing that, um, they've also said it's not our responsibility and any cost associated with people and families is one that should be borne by individuals themselves and that has led to a whole series of intended and unintended consequences which we are starting to see um, running through in all areas of life not just in family law. And so I think over the next three days, this is a wonderful opportunity for those of you who are exceptionally knowledgeable um, across all sorts of areas of, of, of family and related law to be able to showcase ways in which not just family law can be reformed, but the way in which we deal with people as a society can be reformed, the way in which we conceive of families, whether those are biological families or chosen families, whether families extend to include wider kinship groups, whether or not um, families should be supported um, in different ways. I think one of the things that COVID and the COVID contacts have demonstrated to many is just how integral family life is to people being able to thrive in all aspects of, of their world. How pressures at home make it difficult for people to be able to give of their best, whether that's give of their best in the context of 
work, whether it's give of their best in the context of education, give of their best as stalwart members of their communities, offering support to others outside their families. And so in this three day event, I hope that the great, the fabulous, the interesting ideas that you have, have an opportunity to be aired um, with others who know so much about family law, family justice, family structures, and wider community networks. And some of those can be taken forward, I hope, to positive, fruitful um, change uh, for, for all of our benefit. So, I wish us all well over the next few days. I hope everybody has the opportunity to say what they want to say, to test their ideas in a supportive, um, positively challenging and productive um, context. I'm very, very grateful to, to colleagues um, at, at Birmingham for getting this off the ground, particularly to, to Charlotte and Rahana, a bit of a wider network of people involved in the university, including our professional service colleagues. I'm also really very grateful to all of you who've been involved in the organization, to the Law Commission, to the speakers, um, and to those who've supported them to get us to this stage. And with no more ado, I'm going to hand over to Charlotte who will then get us going properly. And hopefully by now, we will also be live as well. Thank you so much. And I look forward to hearing from you over the next few days.